Hello, my name is Jamie Williams and I created a lot of the artwork that features in our short film, Stubbed Out. The first piece of artwork I created was the logo that features throughout the film of this cigarette being restricted by a stop sign. Um, I wanted him to look mean and angry but also fun and it's very much inspired by the Ghostbusters logo that features throughout that film. Having a smoking theme to the film meant that we could play with a lot of the design of the film as well so consequently uh, the film features a game show and it was very clear early on that we wouldn't be able to build a game show set so we decided to make a model and then the good thing about making a model was that we could then replicate a lot of smoking imagery and uh, incorporate that within the game show set so consequently we have the ashtray with the contestants in who are standing by these stubbed out cigarette podiums and the game show host himself is standing on a stop smoking sign and the back wall behind him is a side view of a pack of cigarettes which uh, is another little subtle hint and then the floor itself is a whole selection of money of 50 pound notes in the colour schemes which feature throughout the game show set like the red, orange and yellow colours and then there's flames behind the uh, ashtray as well which sort of gives the impression that money to burn from smoking also featured in the film is an actual stubbed out pack of cigarettes which I created so every character who smokes within the film are actually getting their cigarettes from a stubbed out cigarette pack which may not be seen necessarily in the film but it is there anyway also in the film another little subtle hint is the t-shirts that the characters wear so our female character is wearing a sort of kitten skull and crossbones with the crossbones actually being cigarettes and then our guy who's driving the car who runs over our hero has a yellow t-shirt on with an ashtray pair of lungs full of stubbed out cigarettes and then our hero himself has the stubbed out logo on his t-shirt and then the posters that we created also conjure up cigarette imagery with the photographs looking like cigarettes coming out of a packet or a less subtle cigarette packet itself with times and dates and other information for the premiere uh, during the writing in the early stages of the film I also created a lot of storyboards which having seen the film would show that they are very close to what we ended up filming it does save a lot of time storyboarding in advance especially with low budget filmmaking so I tend to storyboard pretty much every scene the uh, one of the most important scenes was the hospital scene because we didn't have a lot of time in the hospital that we were we managed to find so it's a montage of shots so I know roughly what kind of things we want to get of uh, close-ups on bits of machinery plus doctors expressions things like that to create an atmosphere and tension uh, signs of camera movement to give a sort of hypnotic feel of twisty turny pan shots and then obviously the main action itself of our hero seeing himself on the bed camera pulls back to signify our hero stepping back and then he moves back in surprise as seeing himself on a bed and then out into the corridor so storyboard this very low angle of his feet entering shot and then the tracking shot down through the corridor as he arrives with the at the light at the end of the tunnel which should be provided from by the TV in the top corner which has our game show host presenting the stubbed out game show and then of course our hero eventually starts having a conversation with the game show host through the television
The other scene, the other tricky scene that we had in the film was the car scene. Uh, with our hero getting run over, it was very important to storyboard this to get an idea of the sort of shots we'd need to get the sense of pace, the sense of drama and the risk of him actually getting run over. We did some test footage of this, so some of the early shots that we storyboard we didn't use. Things like reverse camera shots, things like that. Also we had an impact shot that was storyboarded, but we could never get it looking right in the rehearsals. So a sort of creative solution was um, conjured up as uh, a sort of life flashing before his eyes to get out of the fact that we didn't have a shot where you see him getting hit by the car. But uh, these storyboards show him running up to the car from various different angles. We shot all of the different angles but only used fragments of each one of uh, having him in shot running towards the camera, have the camera being his POV, also close-ups on the driver, on his passenger. And then obviously the idea of his getting hit by the car eventually was just used uh, from a shot inside the car where our hero was already lying on the bonnet, rolled up onto the windscreen and then down onto a crash mat on the road uh, with the right sound effect and cut in severely from the life flashing before his eyes scene gave a very a, a sort of close idea of what we wanted of him actually getting hit by the car and then our driver comes out throws his cigarettes away and we pan round to see our hero lying on the floor and then find that he's been killed and that he is as the game show host says stubbed out <laughs>